Hey everybody, this is Damien with Rosie Side Farm. Um, today what we're gonna do is make a pig waterer with some nipples. Um, our new batch of feeder hogs have destroyed our old water. They mess with the nipples so much that it widened the hole and you can't screw it back in. Tried Teflon tape and Flexi and all the other stuff. It's just not going back in, so we need to make a new one. So what we have is just a standard 55 gallon barrel. Uh, it does not have a lid, I wish it did, but what I'll do is I'll just put some plastic over top and some bungee cords um, to make sure this doesn't become a mosquito farm. So all we need is a basic drill. It's a three quarter inch paddle bit. Our pig nipples and a pair of pliers and some Teflon tape for when we finally screw it in. We also have a sacrificial nipple. This is the one that they tore off the other, uh, other nipple feeder and it, it got so gunked up with uh, dirt. Don't think it's usable anymore. What we're gonna do is heat this up to thread the new holes into our, uh, into our nipple water. Now it's a pretty straightforward process. What we're gonna do is just drill a couple of holes in the bottom of the barrel. We're gonna move, we're gonna move up um, a few inches just in case there's sediment that, that, that finds itself in the bottom of the barrel. The sediment will be underneath the first nippler so it doesn't clog it up. Now, with a little Teflon tape, screw it in snug. pretty snug just like it is now I don't want to over tighten it and uh, take it all the way down if it's pretty snug where it is I think it's going to be all right now I'm going to put two nipplers on this barrel um, I think that'll be fine the turkeys are in the back they, they agree with me um, for our the three pigs that we have they'll take turns and uh, get this out in their pen so I don't have to go out there every day with a bucket of water and make sure that they have the water that they need so the application here or the installation is I have them on a couple of cinder blocks, kind of raise the nipples up off the ground. As they get bigger, I can, I can put multiple cinder blocks underneath. We have three T-posts that are ratchet strapped to the, um, to the water because, um, well, pigs live to destroy the, the work that you do. So if given a chance, they'll knock it over and they will eventually destroy this entire thing um, the same way they destroyed the old one. But we're just hoping to for it to take as long as possible to mess this thing up. 